guys welcome back to my channel I hope you all can hear me very well uh, I decided to do something a little different I wanted to film outside and guess what it starts to rain so currently it's raining right now <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it but we're gonna get through this video because I'm determined to film outside I need a little change of scenery and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new if you've been here before hey girl hey dude what's going on how you doing my name is Kenyatta for those who don't know and also my channel name is Kay Renee. So I'm a motherhood lifestyle, <sighs> vlogs, cooking, anything dealing with motherhood. That's me all in one, okay? <laughs> so today's video is actually a collaboration with a few other fellow mamas here. We are doing the homemaker tag, um, mom, mom tag, mother, mom, mom tag. I think I said that right. Why are the bugs trying to attack me? Cause I don't come outside that's why okay so <laughs> let's get this thing together let me scoot y'all up all right so if I'm looking down guys it's because I have my phone here so I can get the questions and let's get this thing going also I will have um, the channels of the other women that are involved in this other mamas and moms and mums and things on that line it is a mixture of us from all over the world so definitely check them out I'll leave all their channels linked in the description box below as well as have them popping up on the screen here and there so you can see who they are okay okay my well, mama y'all I can't stand it when I'm ready to go and I can't find what I'm looking for <laughs> oh my goodness let's see let's see I know I screenshotted them maybe I screenshot on my other phone y'all let me check and see okay yep i did here they are so have i number one have i ever had anyone say anything negative to me about staying at home or working at home absolutely not um i've never had anyone come to me and say oh you're wrong you should be working none of that um if anything i've had honestly nothing but major support from all of you all my internet besties type things okay <laughs> um, but no I have never had anyone come to me and tell me that I should be working and not be a stay-at-home mom okay number two what are your favorite and least favorite parts about being a stay-at-home mom honestly y'all I like the freedom that I have to still be able to take care of what I need to take care of and I have to worry about clocking in um, okay some birds are playing right now <laughs> sorry about that um i also like the fact that i'm able to be more involved in my kids lives growing up i had that with my mom even though she did work a lot um, but i did have that and was able to be involved you know and that's what i want to do stay involved in my kids lives as much as i can um and my least favorite part is just the <laughs> i feel like the chores or the other jobs of motherhood okay as far as the dishes the cooking the cleaning and all of that it's like it's a whole lot more <laughs> especially with the year that we've had last year in 2020 it's a whole lot more than when it was when i was working you know um i felt like uh, i never had enough time to catch up i still feel that way like it's not enough time to catch up and do this stuff and get this thing done so i would say that's my least favorite part is my other duties of being a mama and a wife and things like that it's like it's more piled on <laughs> you let me know how you feel about that in the comments <laughs> next question oh next question number three what are your favorite and least favorite chores all right well my favorite chore <laughs> is i love to cook i love to cook i like experimenting i like trying new things i like to bake and things from that line so that's my favorite my least favorite i would have to say is cleaning the bathroom and folding of the laundry i love washing it and I'll dry it. I just don't want to fold it. <laughs> Let me know if you agree with that. <laughs> okay, so next question number four. What time do you wake up slash go to bed? I am an early bird. I rise up early. I go to bed late, um, honestly. Um, sometimes I don't even go to bed, to be honest with you. I really don't. Um, I just kind of step, maybe get like an hour cat nap, if you want to call it that. Um, but for the most part, it is... Mm, I go to wake up usually around 4 30 because i do my god and me time and i have my devotion with god and things in that line since my crew has been out for the summer and like like a week week and a half now i haven't been waking up that early i'm gonna be honest i have not 
but I still have been getting my stuff in. When I get it in, either it's the end of the day, while I'm eating my snack or my lunch or whatever, um, anytime I can, I'll get it in. However, um, I do go to bed. I try to go to bed no later than 10, 10 30, 11-ish the latest, but no later than 10 is my goal. So yeah, there we go. Okay, number five. Do you put anything on while you're cooking or cleaning or anything of that nature in the background to have that background noise? Okay, that's what I'm always saying. Uh, yes, I do. I love to jam out to some music, y'all. I'll be jamming it out, <laughs> whether it's Christian, um, whatever. I just, whatever I'm feeling that need to get me pumped, I put that on. Or I'll just have the TV on as background noise. Or honestly, y'all, I really don't have to do any of that because I have my own human alarm clocks, my crew. They are loud enough for me to have a background noise. <laughs> There we go. Okay, number six. Do you get dressed most days or do you stay in your PJs? Well, it's a little bit of both. I get dressed some days. I may put on a top and do this portion of my body <laughs> sometimes. Or I just stay in my loungewear, in my pajamas, more or less loungewear, and just chill out. Like I do what I need to do, but I chill out, you know? Um, unless I'm gonna like film or something, I may do that. But a lot of times, in my, even if I'm filming, filming y'all, I stay in my house coat, in my bonnet, or I try to put on my uh, hair cap or whatever, you know, just to get what I need to get done done, but not have to be super duper cute all the time, okay? Number seven, how often do you do your hair and or makeup? <laughs> y'all not often enough not like I need to um, honestly every blue moon I used to just pull my hair back in a pony like I have it here and I will pop my headbands on or maybe even a wig if I have one I'm not big on those but when I do get some I pop them in there okay um, and, or I just let it be pop my hat on and I'm good um, makeup wise, I'm not the best at it, but I like to dibble and dabble in it just a little bit. Um, and here lately, I've been doing my thing. I'll pop up some pictures, okay? Um, and you know, if you check out my family vlogs on my channel, you definitely will see more of me in my relaxed, chill mode, normal day in life of me. <laughs> um, but I do like special occasions, I try to get, you know, get spewed up, look, 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 look cute sometimes, you know, just a little bit. All right, number eight. What is my trouble zone or my main zone area, main area of my house that needs help? <laughs> Honestly, I would have to say my room <laughs> and my kids, uh, especially my younger two, my teenager. I take my my boat, my boys. Okay, my teenager and my boys. Uh, my um, eight-year-old. He, my little mama. She is ten. She does her thing. Um, does she get off track sometimes? Yes, of course, she's a child, you know, they're gonna do that. But I think it's more or less that and just me, me, me. I be in a funk sometimes, y'all, so I just kinda do whatever and throw it. And sometimes I look at the stuff around my house and I don't wanna do anything at all. So I don't do anything, okay? Next question. Number nine, how often do you find yourself getting distracted? A lot, <laughs> sometimes, unless I'm like really, really determined and focused on what I'm wanting to do, yeah, I'll get distracted a lot. Especially like, okay, I'm gonna check something here on, on YouTube. I'm gonna check something here on um, on this page here, right? And then next thing you know, I'm gonna spend a whole hour and pass by. And it's like, wait a minute, I wasn't supposed to do about five or 10 minutes to get back to what I was doing and stay in focus on getting dinner or cleaning up or checking on my crew with school or whatever it may have been, okay? <laughs> Number 10, do you enjoy staying home or do you miss going to a job every day? Um, in the beginning when I first became an official stay-at-home mom, I loved it. I loved it. And I still do. I have my days where I do enjoy it a lot. Um, especially when, my, when it comes to my kids or if hubby needs something, I take it to his job or whatever, anything of that nature. Um, but there are times that I, knew, I do miss working. I have been working since I was 16 years old, you guys. Um, the summer of my junior year, I've been working. So I'm, that's just embedded in me. I'm just so used to doing that. So it's like, well, now nah, I don't work. So now I'm trying to find something, you know, stay at home, work at home mom maybe, you know, to find something for me to do um, until my passion for YouTube gets going and I find, figure out how to do this whole algorithm thing and all of that. <laughs> if you know any tips and tricks, let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> Next question. Number 11, what is your never ending chore? 
Come on, come here real quick. Did I mention laundry? Let me know. Let me know if I said it. <laughs> Y'all, laundry is my, it's never ending. Like I can wash, Mondays are usually my wash days. I can wash all my clothes, mine, the crew, my hubby, you know, everybody's all on Monday. And by the time Wednesday comes, or even Tuesday night, y'all, I have more clothes. And I'm like, where are these coming from? Oh my gosh. So yeah, Andre. <laughs> Number 12, what is your favorite way to relax or have me time? Yeah. What is that again? I don't understand the question. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't get a lot of me time. Um, I'm working on doing better at getting more me time, you guys. Yeah, on that note, we're gonna leave it at that. All right, next question. Number 13, how often does your husband chip in? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I don't even wanna say he tries. He just, sometimes he's so oblivious to what is going on if it's not in his work bubble or whatnot, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all and transparent right now. He probably will say otherwise, but I'm gonna be honest and transparent right now. Um, definitely, he tries. He tries. I'll give him a brownie point for that. Thumbs up this, just for him trying, y'all. Number 14, if you have children, when do you find time to do chores? Okay, so this question is kind of weird because this is a homemaker tag, so I figured we all had kids. But, I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know. Um, I just do it when I can do it. That's it. Whenever I can get it in. If they're downstairs eating, then I'll do it then. If they're in the tub I'll do it then you know things like that so um, yeah that's when I try to do it I don't know how to answer that because my kids are older but even if when my kids were younger I would time just whenever they were taking a nap or whatnot I don't know anyways next question <laughs> next question is number 15 how do you create time for making content or creating blog posts I'm gonna say vlogs or YouTube things because that's what I do I don't have a blog um, being a homemaker so Sleepless nights, yeah, 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 definitely sleepless nights. Um, early, early, early morning, sometimes no sleep at all, <laughs> honestly. Uh, or like I said again, I'll do it while they're eating breakfast or um, while they're in school, when they were homeschooling, or when they're um, virtual schooling, I would do it then, try to, with, unless they needed help. You know, things like I just try whenever I can get it in, honestly, y'all. That's why I'm so far behind on all my content, because I don't have a lot of time to do it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Number 16. What is your favorite room in your house? I would have to say that it is my little office space I created in my room. <laughs> Y'all have never seen it, but I created my own little office space to where I can just have my little spot and I can do what I need to do without bothering my hubby. And yeah, so that's it right there. Number 17. What is your least favorite room in your house? I don't have one. I don't have one. Um, the bathroom, maybe? You want to just call something out? <laughs> I don't know. Number 18, do you feel that your home reflects your personal style? I do somewhat feel like my, my portion of my place of living right now reflects my personal style. Not fully. Um, I would like to change it up a little bit. I'm getting more involved in like these rustic mobs, earth tones, mocha chocolate skin type of colors. <laughs> okay <laughs> like creams things like that i don't know where it came from it just came out of nowhere so i'm trying to eat it up and live it okay <laughs> so, next question <laughs> number 19 what does your house smell like bath and body work <laughs> um glade plug-in plug-ins airwick plug-ins um more or less bath and body works i love smell goods i love candles if you want to give me anything ever for my birthday or just in general, candles. I love candles. I should have my own candle company. I, I really should do that. Just start my own candle company. Anyways, I thought. Anywho, um, yeah, so I love candles. I love smell good. I love sprays. I love perfumes. I love all of that. Um, so I would say right now, I think I'm burning. Uh, I have um, bergamot, I think it is, going on I, in my room. In my bathroom, I have champagne toast from Bath to Body Works. So, yes, my spot smells great. How about yours? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your favorite scents are that you like to have brewing or smelling and flowing through your house. 
Okay, last but not least, y'all, number 20 is what are your strong points and weak points when it comes to home making or being a homemaker? I would have to say my, my strong point, honestly, I think for me is the fact that I can keep my kids encouraged and also the fact that I can cook whatever I want and try to try new things. Always finding recipes, things like that. Um, some of my weak points, I think I could be better at being a mother um, and a wife. Uh, I feel like I don't do as much as I should be doing sometimes, y'all, but I'm so tired and my body is going through things um, that y'all were hearing in another video. So it's a lot of stuff going on with me um, that y'all don't know about. <laughs> So I just don't share uh, but I feel like I can do more I always feel like I can do more even when I ran track even when I did events in school I always felt like I can do more sorry y'all bugs are biting me <laughs> okay yeah so that's that's what I feel it is so oh my gosh guys we made it to the end of this video if you kept it all the way to the end and you made it to this point please leave me a turtle emoji in the comment section along with the nice comment i love reading you guys comments i love responding back to your comments and if you're not a part of my fam or my crew which i call you guys sometimes please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't ever miss an upload from me um, because i have stuff come out sometimes not on my schedule my schedule days are tuesdays and thursdays with the bonus video mainly on saturdays but a bonus video here and there so Definitely check that out. So as I always say, you guys, don't forget to check those other ladies that are part of this collab. I will have them linked down in the description box below. And as always, keep the hope, keep the faith, and keep praying, guys. I can deliver my next one. Bye, y'all.